Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Sam. I do sewing and pattern making tutorial. So for today's video, one of the requests of our subscriber is how to draft a mermaid skirt with train using your front and back basic block of skirt. So let's get started. I'm using a half scale model for the pattern. You need your basic skirt block. Let's start muna sa front part ng ating mermaid skirt with train. So we need another paper. Craft paper ang gamit ko dito. So first is to draw a horizontal line as a guideline. So that is our hip line. Align lang natin yung hip line ng ating front pattern dun sa guideline. And then trace the whole pattern and then yung darts natin. Next is to mark your skirt length. So, your skirt length po usually um, from the waist then to the floor plus the height ng ating shoes or your heels. Then next is to extend yung hem ng ating front skirt down to the uh, hemline or the length of the skirt. Next is to add the flares, the side seam. So, yung flare natin depends on your preference. So, I'm using 6 inches for this pattern. You can go higher or lower than 6 inches. Then, next is to mark the starting point ng ating flare. Mine will be 12 inches from the waist or 4 inches from the hip line. And then square out left and right. After that, i-connect natin yung flare point sa width mark natin sa hem. Next is to finish the hem ng ating flare using French curve or hip curve. So yung old seam should match the length of the new side seam. After getting the measurement of the old side seam, pivot lang natin yung ating tape measure until dun sa new side seam natin. And then cross out natin yung old side seam. This is our front. For the back pattern, same then Imatch lang natin yung hip line dun sa hip guideline natin. And then trace the whole back pattern. Pati yung ating dart. And then extend natin yung center back line and the side seam. For the side seam flare, same lang din ng ating width, 6 inches, just like the front flare. And then shape natin yung ating hem ng ating flare. Then complete lang natin yung mga dotted lines with French curve. Next is the CB or the center back train. Uh, mark first muna natin yung ating 6 inches na width for the flare. And then connect yung ating flare point sa ating 6 inches mark. And then extend lang natin siya dun sa ating desired length of train. So, mine will be 36 inches. Then, square out and complete natin yung hem. So, I prefer freehand yung pag-curve ng ating hem. Or you can use your hip curve or French curve. So, this is our back. Let's double check the side seam. So, kailangan yung side seam natin ng front and back should match or should have the same length and then the curve of the hem should be smooth and this is how it should look like sa actual fabric natin thank you so much for watching and i hope you learned something new from this video and please like subscribe and share this video with all of your friends and i'll see you next time bye